All right, folks, we are here at Cedar Grove Baptist Church to do an on-site. So let's see what we can do to help them out. It's possible to put a screen right there where the clock is. Mm -hmm. And whatever, we could, we could put screens on these two sides on. All right, folks, we are down here in like in the fellowship hall area. And what we're gonna do is maybe go with a 75 inch screen TV here. We're gonna put a jack on the wall so that it can be connected, but then also maybe think about doing an 8 Mini Pro so that if any events are done in here, they could actually live stream the same. The pastor Henry was saying that these speakers do not work so we don't have to worry about audio and syncing up everything we'll pull audio from the tv um if the tv's volume is not strong enough we can always add a sound bar we're also going to put a unified access point in here to give internet here so that's good and i'm starting here and i'm working backwards we're going to also add run some hard lines obviously for the access point as well as in the other areas drop ceilings everywhere there is a brick wall here that we're going to have to punch through, which I don't think will be that big of an issue. We're going to add a UDM Pro, most likely, to add over here. We'll probably mount that on the wall somewhere. That will give us internet access here. We can get, maybe I'll get the UDM Pro, Medium Pro Plus, I believe it is. So it has a PoE switch built in as well, too. So we can have one device for right now. We're going to run hardline internet to the back area of the sanctuary. Now let's step in the sanctuary and show you what else we're going to do. So we're going to maybe go with two 75s on either side here. We're going to do a PTZ in the front so we can see back here. We're also going to do another 75 in the back, maybe right above the clock and put the camera right under it. Then maybe a stationary camera as well too. Sound we don't really need to touch, but the sound is in the back, so we're gonna break off of that. Maybe get a laptop or a custom PC so that we can put presentation software as well too and handle their conference call. So we're just gonna run off of a ATEM Mini Extreme so it can handle the live streaming as well and then we could run feed that over into that for a conference call number on a straight audio from the board we can go xlr out into the audio so we'll have house sound so that'll be good so i don't without how i do i normally without seeing in the ceilings but we're going to be pulling maybe four cables everything else is fairly easy to reach Probably just need some assistance in hanging the TVs, get my brother-in-law an intern, something like that. But everything else would be straightforward. And yeah, so let's go ahead and cut over to the computer and then we're gonna design this out, show you all the parts, and we'll go from there. All right, folks, so we are back and let's go ahead and cut over to the computer and we're gonna design this system for Cedar Grove. And this is pretty much a full end system because they have nothing. So it's a blank slate. Yay, this is gonna be fun. Let's go ahead and get started with the basics, all right? And I really hope y'all getting something from this because I like to design this and yes, it looks like it's the same, but it's the fundamentals. We're building the foundation that show you that it doesn't matter where you start, you can retrofit, you can add on, start new. The concepts are still the same and that's the reason why I do that synopsis when I walk through so everybody is mindful. The main thing we need to know about wired internet, we need to not talk about power outlets that need to be there, sound, what are they currently using, as well as the locations where that's gonna go is sound going through speakers because if we're bringing video through the TVs and sound is going through ceiling speakers, they're gonna be out of sync and we need to sync them. Those are the common things that I ask. So we're gonna start with the ATEM Mini Extreme. All right, they already have a soundboard, but they wanted me to also talk about adding something new. So we're gonna have the X32 Compact. 
as well for sound. And they have some amps and stuff like that. So we can integrate simpler, similarly, similarly <laughs> to what we just did at a couple of other ministries, especially Advent. So we'll say this is our digital snake. This might not be needed because it looks like everything was wired back on the board back there, but it's good to have just in case. Um, they want to go with four TVs, two in the front, one in the back, and then one in the multi-purpose room. So let's go with four. So we're going to put one back here. And I actually just called Mr. Hicks from Community Independent Methodist because he is a carpenter and he builds a lot of good stuff and recommended him for if they were looking to do some other stuff. So we'll see how that goes. We're also need to put some Wi-Fi in the area. So we're going to put an access point in the sanctuary, another one in the hallway, and then another one over there in the media area and the multi-purpose room, fellowship hall, whatever you want to call it. We're going to talk about building a desktop so that it grows with time as well. And it looks like they, no, it's like they have different icons here. No, AJ, you normally put a computer. And I think they're actually talking about doing another computer for their um, treasurer. So I'm just gonna have this here. This is gonna be for presentation. And it can be for running the conference call. It's just gonna be a line in, so not a big deal. And then conference call. All right, so these are the main components. Oh, we also need a router. That's gonna be the UDM Pro that we go with. I'll just put this here for right now. That's gonna feed everything. We're gonna to need to put some jacks and all this other fun stuff, all right? So we also need to have a one, two, three, four. We need to have a one by four, or but honestly, it's probably easier to do a one by eight HDMI splitter. So that's going to be a one by eight HDMI splitter. And I'm going with the UDM Pro because they're looking at getting some security cameras. And even though all the Unify cameras are back ordered, by having this in place, all we got to do is maybe add a, a more, a bigger PoE switch, or we just need to, and then just, or just add the cameras. So it's already in place. All right. So I'm going to put this here. We're gonna look at doing three cameras, one in the front, one in the back, a stationary camera, and then possibly a tripod one in the other room, in the fellowship hall. So we're gonna do one, two, three. So that'll be front PTZ. Then this will be back PTZ. And then we're gonna have a static camera as well. I'll put it beside. Camera. All right. Let's flank these on both sides. And of course we need a joystick to control this as well. And was talking with Mr. Hicks about actually building their media booth, like a platform. So that will be cool. All right, so we got our sanctuary access point. We'll say hallway access point, and then fellowship hall access point. We're gonna put a rack mount over here. So we're gonna do this as the UDM Pro. And if it's available, I get the one that actually has the um, POE built into it so that can save. So at least we can power these. And then if we need to add more cameras, we just add another POE switch under that and we can serve over to that as well too. That's gonna be rack mounted, maybe a eight U rack. All right, so let's speed through this, connect everything, and then we're gonna go from there. All righty, I think we got something here. So we got our four 75 inch screen 4K TVs all being connected through this one by eight HDMI splitter 
fiber optic HDMI cables will go to each one of these. So these could probably get away with two 75 foot cables here. This is probably the longest run, probably go with 150, 200 foot cable for the distance. This one is gonna be close, but we're just gonna go with maybe a 50 foot just in case. And I completely forgot that I need another TV over here for our multi view. And I know that's kind of messy, but y'all get the point. <laughs> Let me actually move it over here, but nah, we'll keep it right here. Cause that's going right here to the ATEM. We're going to go with two PTZs, one in the front, 20 X's would be fine for both of those locations. Our static camera will be mounted directly under there for our static shot. Now, instead of going with the serial joystick, I am going to go with an IP based one. So that way this one eight to 16 port POE switch, depending on which one is available, will power everything and provide internet in that area. The access points are gonna go directly from the UDM Pro in that back closet. So when the media booth is cut off, everything is turned off here. No internet will be available for the computers unless they turn that on, which is fine. Our back TV is connected over the splitter as well too, as well as the Fellowship Hall TV. Now, the one thing I would probably add to this is similar to what we did at Greater Faith is have an ATEM Mini Pro in here, which would be in between here. And this would allow another camera that's on a tripod to be in this area. And that can be connected here, use the mic off of that, the camcorder to feed into this. So we would need to have another jack available here for internet in the area, which isn't that big of a deal to run over here in the area. So if we did, that would be something like this. And put a jack over there. So that's available. This will be connected to the TV. So this is optional, but I think this would allow the same functionality that's in the sanctuary to be functioned in the fellowship hall, just like we've done before. Cause there's no point in having one skill set to run the sanctuary and then something completely different in the area. We have our compact that's going to be sending our audio from the house into the ATEM. And then that audio over USB will go to our presentation system that we're just running free conference call software on the desktop that will handle their phone calls and everything like that. So I think that will be good. And this will set them up in the future to where, like I said, we can just add another one here, another 16 port, or maybe a 24 if they want to go with that many cameras, and then it can be routed everywhere else and we'll make a connections for everything else. So I think I'm not going to say what I normally would say, but seems pretty straightforward. We obviously we need to get in the ceilings. Thankfully there's a drop ceiling everywhere and we looks like we only have to punch a hole through the separation from the sanctuary into that hallway. So I think we should be good. Then I'll have a link down below to everything that I'm going to do. I'm going to send this off to them. We get picked for it. We're going to bring y'all along so y'all can see how everything goes. So if you like this type of content, I appreciate it. Consider subscribing, hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. Thank you, Cedar Grove for reaching out. Really appreciate it. Look forward to doing some business and helping out your ministry reach and touch the world. I want to thank all my patrons and YouTube subscribers. I couldn't do this without them. Thank you so much for it, folks. Their name is on the screen right now, and you too can become a patron for as little as $1 a month or become a YouTube member by clicking the join button down below. No matter which way you pick, folks, you are helping us train media ministries all over the world. Thanks for watching, folks. This is AJ. We'll see you on the next video. Later.